house is jumpable. All right. And the so gates are not in the way of anything else. We are oh. on horse number two. There's just two we're not doing. We got Sophie up on Finny Boy, who's looking calm and cool and collected, isn't he? Yeah. The way he should be. Yeah, he's just great. So, and then stick these in. Finn did fill at the show. Looking so calm. As he should be. Yeah. He's like, I'm an old pro now. Gabby, Sophie's warming up. And then we're going to get you the jumping. Long warm up. Takes her a lot. Takes, takes them a long time to warm up. Yeah. Which I like. Lots of time. I've never seen another horse Sophie rides as well. Because she's so used to him. Girl. Just think about your consistency. See, he starts to throw a fit every time when he gets by the other horses. Isn't that funny? No, that's because of his forelock. Well, his forelock was great all the way around. We shook it out now. We braided it. Fiona braided it to see if it made a difference. It no, doesn't. no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I tried. I wanted to see. We took it out at the show because, because at the he show was. He rode a beautiful warm up round with it braided and then it was out for the other one. Because he was throwing a fit. It didn't matter taking it out though. No. Because he rode beautifully with it in. So it's not his braid. It's not his hair. Braided or unbraided, it doesn't so matter. So now watch. Watch. We're going around the other horses. He just throws fits. Oh. Right. It's not. Not the other horses. It's a mystery, you guys. Maybe he has. A on him? Uh, we have ridden him in bonnets. Does he shake less? No, we've no. never done anything. Some people on our channel think he used to not shake his head, and yeah, I'm he's like, always shaking. Always, like that's the first thing that we noticed about him. The first few rides on him. Yeah, well, even when we tried him. Yeah. I think it's his way. I think he's I think... gotten out of stuff in the past. But by now, he should be learning that he can't get out of stuff. By just shaking his head, so now I think it's just a. I think it's I'm just, just him. Show you my yeah. Food man. Yeah, they all love. So I never said that before, but at our barn, I watch the owner with all the horses. Oh man, you know it's a good barn when the horses look at him and treat him with such kindness and love and respect. I like that trot. They all love him. How does it feel? Good. You're starting to relax, so he's starting to relax. You need to keep your legs a little bit tighter in the thigh and you need to tighten your core a little bit more so you're not losing your balance. He, if you keep working on it, you will have a tight core that will make you be able to ride anything. This horse also you tells us. You have to put that work into it. You have to be using it even when I'm not yelling at you. This horse also tells us whenever we make a mistake. Yes. Remember, all I'm giving you is tools to put in your toolbox. You need to pull the right tool out for the job when you need to use it. It's not my job to build the house. It's my job to give you the tools to build the house. It's your job to build the house. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Remember, those tools we put in that toolbox are always there. You may have to dig around for them to remember them, but they're there. So never forget you have those tools and keep using them. Oh, the breeze is glorious. The breeze is glorious. Let's change rain. And I don't know about your horse, but I'm getting bored watching you go around the rail. So let's use the arena. Push your hands forward, remember. Not up, just down and forward. Right by that martingale. Good girl, there, he just wanted to stretch his neck a little. You can do a circle. Remember, we're not just riding monotonously around the arena. We gotta put in circles and changes of direction. Imagine this is a crowded ring with 25 people and you need to keep your own space. Good. Slow your rising. Tighten your thighs, tighten your core. 
Don't run into any horses. You're also using this as your chance to get him to see all the fences. Do you want to ride past everything? That a girl. <laughs> that got her going. You want to ride in front of everything so that when I tell you to go jump it, he doesn't go, whoa, where'd that come from? He's had a chance to see it all. That's the benefit to flat classes beforehand. Check your eyes. We're getting a little tired, so dig down deep for a little extra muscle. When you get strong and steady, I'll let you walk. Gorgeous. Go ahead, walk. So you guys saw at the show that when Finn goes over Phil, he doesn't go where the Phil is. He jumps off to the side. I saw a bunch of horses doing that last night. But these little things are going to keep him centered. They're going to help. They're going to help. Some hair on your camera. I know, my, my camera has a mustache. There's a bee, a sweat bee. He's yeah. following me. What we have is something worth fighting for. Knocking at my door, but I like it like that. We go all in and I'm falling, but I like it like, like it like that. And it's so wrong, but still so strong, but I like it like, like it like that. Now we catch your fire. Better rain. Let's circle. Look through your turn. Way better. It was a very good circle. Can you keep your legs on a little better? A little inside leg. Help them to lift up in the corner. Half halt when you do it. Good girl. So squeeze those reins. Tighten your core. Bring them back a little bit. And then give your hands away and say, you can keep stretching. I just don't want you to go so fast. Big half halt. Tighten your core. Bring back. Look at how easy that was. Step him up into a nice canter from that. I already hear the thunder. Wow, was that gorgeous? Circle right away. Now, inside leg, inside rein. Do not let him lean. Thank you. Half hole with your thighs and your belly. Good girl. Tighten your thighs, hold yourself up. Don't let your bum come back down. You gotta use your legs. Much better, Sophia. That looks lovely. We just need to ask him to slow down a fraction of a canner. So big half hole. Use your reins too, and then let him go. Your half hop still has to include your reins or you're not doing anything. Tighten the core, tighten the thighs, squeeze your reins, then let him go. Yes. Look at those loopy reins. See how much nicer it is when he balances? Yeah. Yeah, now big half halt here. Tighten your core, tighten your thighs, tighten your reins, and then let him go. Wow. Keep your core together, keep your thighs tight. Find a spot to do a change of direction. Look and plan where you want to change. Don't move them. I did not need to do that. That's okay. So turn your core right here too fast. Tell them no, 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 rebalance. And then let him go. Say thank you. That's the canner I like. No, 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 no. Big half halt. Tighten your thighs, tighten your core, pull back on your reins. There, now let him go. That's the canner I like. All you're doing is rebalancing, saying no, thank you. No, thank you. Good, tighten your leg a little more. 
Feel the difference when you have halt and release. And walk. We're losing and, our legs. And her, well, her stamina though. Hold your legs together. That a girl. Where are we going? The white double. The white double? Yeah. Okay. So not red. Yeah. That... I agree. But you're not going to try to whole lap, right? Okay, good. That's right. So reset. And then let him go. Reset. Good correction on your hands by yourself, my dear. Well done. Look up past the jump. Doesn't even care. Good girl, let's fix our lead. Tighten your core. You gotta get her top first, girl, so don't get the You got it, tighten your legs up, no flaily legs. There, good girl. So she's trying to get her trot first. Oh, circle and fix your lead. Balance. Don't lift your hands up here. Keep them lower. Oh, we got that. You got it. Now keep that canner. You can rebalance him. And then let him go. Rebalance on the corner. Straight in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. That was a perfect pony stride. Circle. You're going to do a simple lead change on your circle. Excellent. Diagonal. Come on. Only one you can do. Big half halt. Set him up for straightness. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good girl. Outside line. Half halt. Your pony looks stunning. Look up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good girl. Diagonal line. Half halt there, get him straight in from the corner. Tighten your thighs, tighten your thighs, sit him back there and let him go. Excellent. Four, five. Good girl, sit up to the red single. Right here. Good. Good girl, circle and walk. That was lovely. I know. That's okay. He almost wants to step up for the horse striding, and we don't really want him to do that right now. I mean, like, um, at the show, he was taking long for me. Yeah, that was just fine. That's perfectly fine. I counted a stride too early. Keep walking while we talk. And then Finn's like, oh, i got to get this. <laughs> so we're just going to think in between the lines, tightening the thigh, tightening the belly muscles, exhale, and then let him go, right? We're going to come back and then let him go. Give him that little re so the reins are slipping through my hand. Little rebalance to the next fence. Can I put some more fill underneath him now? A little tiny bit. He didn't even look. That one I felt like he was doing He didn't. He didn't even hesitate. I'm not doing a lot of fill. I just want a little bit. Okay, here's the course. So We're up here on cloud nine. And somehow we get it right every time. for a circle and then you can drop them. I'm not getting my correct Actually, you can just keep holding your reins because we're going to walk for a second and I'm going to tell you your metal course.
like you like that. To the second one. Two. One. Think about trotting. Better. We got a love chip. Everybody's listening to you. Simple change. <laughs> Diagonal green. There. Now that canner is much nicer. Let's keep it. We're not want, we don't want to get scattered. Big half halt. She Bring was your getting, elbows back. I could tell she was getting scattered. Yeah. There. One, two, three. Better. One, two. Good pony. Outside line. You need to rebalance between the fences. Big half halt. Two, one. Big half halt. And halt. Make him stand for five seconds. See, he does not like to stand, and that's and the thing, too. Wait, what? Trot. He heard that. <laughs> nope. I want you to gather yourself together. We're going to do one more line, and we're all done. But I, One more line. Get yourself together. She said what one? I, she's got to get herself together first. Yeah. No, I know. Good. Canter. Up the quarter, and we're going to jump the diagonal black. We're jumping the black line with a nice canner in, a nice canner through, or I'm going to add more. Yes. Tighten your thighs. Dig down deep for a little extra for a minute. Good. Half halt. Outside line. Simple change. I like to see her say sorry to Finn. Good boy. Balance. Three, two. Now balance again. Yes, now you're done. That's what I wanted to see. Circle, keep yourself together. Do not fail on him. She's about it's to fail. It's your job to keep your body for that walk transition. Tighten your core. Tighten your thighs, baby girl. Dig down deep. She's tired. Hold it together, hold it together, hold it together. And now let it go. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.